our morning greeting, and you're going to clap out syllables. Okay, so look at who you're sitting by. Look at you can just feel the love coming from her. She is just the type of person that you want to be around. Jill Lang has been in District 89 for 36 years. When I think about District 89, honestly, I think about Jill Lang. She is just this quiet, humble teacher who absolutely loves what she does and loves the students in her classroom and her colleagues. She is always positive and constantly looking to improve her own practice because she knows it'll impact the kids in her class. Jill just has this innate ability to not only mother and care for her students, but also find different ways to challenge them and make them grow. We used to like subtract really big numbers and we just like loved it, like one, like 14 million something thousand, some hundred minus like another number like that and Mrs. Lang always helped us and it was really fun. I love visiting Jill's class. It's such a peaceful place. The students benefit from her compassion and her knowledge and her creativity. Jill will let you know that she's always known she wanted to be a teacher. And her and her sister would play school when they were growing up and like set up the stuffed animals and I just think about that. But who she is as a person to the core is a teacher. All right, time's up. If you want to show it, hold it up. Let's see. The thing about Jill that is her legacy is her excitement for learning and for the people in her life. Jill just wraps her arms around the kids. You know, she treats them like they're her own children. And she really wants to make everything exciting for them, every holiday, every lesson. Um, it's really all about the kids. She considers school like her happy place or a safe place, like she loves to come in, even I've heard her say, oh, I come in on weekends, or I, I come in during breaks, or you know, at the end of the school year, I'm still packing up at the end of the year, like this is her happy place. She always says something to every kid on the way out the door every single day. So on some days it's squirt your hands, some days it's you have to study for your spelling test, but it's while it seems silly to me at first, I realized later that that's her way of connecting with them, again, one last time on their way out the door and then she does the same thing every morning as well. The reason students connect and remember Jill so well is she just is a genuine, caring, kind teacher and connects with her students um, and so they remember that feeling and they remember that this is what second grade was like. When I was in Mrs. Lang's class I felt success um, and I felt cared for and I felt loved. We have kids come back all the time to visit Jill. We have staff members who had Jill as a teacher who quite literally inspired them to be teachers. And I, I've worked with her for 12 years and I still call her Mrs. Lang. It, I just doesn't feel right calling her anything else. I have so much respect for her. Um, she is part of the reason that I became a teacher. Um, I can just think back on so many instances where she just made me feel so special and unique as a student in her class. I know that she's excited for retirement, but she's also sad, right? And so I do know that Jill hopefully will come back and sub with us, but she also has a big year ahead. Her kids are getting married, they're planning weddings, and so I know that she's going to really take some time to enjoy that. and. Um, be a part of those experiences and just the expansion of her family. Mrs. Lang, I just want you to know that you have really impacted my life and I love you and I will miss you. Um, thank you for being such a great teacher and we're really sad that like she's gonna leave and stuff and yeah we're gonna really miss her. They are just incredibly lucky to have her as a teacher. We are incredibly lucky to have her as a staff member going to be a lot of sad um, former students who want to come and visit um, or say hi or even just casually asking like oh is you know is Mrs. Lang still here and hearing that she has retired um, is going to be very sad for not only the current students at Parkview but those who who remember and have fond memories of her at Parkview.